Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is the vlog number 11 of the BMW Z4 and today we're working on the convertible top. Alright, so pretty much as you guys know, uh, my convertible top is not working since I got the car, but I have fixed a couple of things. Now, in my case now, the top motor is not working. And also, I have a red flashing light from this button over here. This is the button to bring the convertible top up. So let me just show you guys. You guys see that? Just turn the car on. So we're gonna try to fix this problem today by replacing this motor. Now when I press on this button, windows come down, but this motor is not working properly. Now when I press on this, the motor does not do anything. Now I get the impression that the gear ring is bad, so we're gonna just go ahead and replace all that. Um, and then another thing that I have fixed, now I don't know if you guys remember at the beginning of the series, but I used to have an orange light when I was pressing on this button, like a flashing orange light, and ended up that is the little micro switch that is located on the trunk. which is this little button over here um, this is very easy to replace guys now um, the convertible top will only come down if this little lifter is down which is gonna activate this switch over here and allows the convertible top to come down this is the only signal that is gonna allow the convertible top to come down and to replace this switch it is very easy you're just gonna remove your tray right make sure that you take everything out there is two bolts one on the top and one on the bottom once you release those bolts this bracket should slide out that little sensor cost me about thirty dollars uh, you can get that part on ebay or amazon or at the bmw store I'm gonna put the part number in the description if you guys feel like replacing it. Most of the cases you need to replace that sensor because they tend to break a lot. Uh, it's just a little metal hook brackets, you know, but they're very fragile, so, you know. So pretty much after that, um, what happened is none of the light were working, right? I think it, it kind of created a short uh, then blow my fuse and then after that I replaced the fuse now the BMW C4 fuse block the fuse panel is located right under the glove box so you can just pop this out right there is two actually two buttons over here so it's one and the other one is over here once you trigger those two buttons you know there is like a little cover that should pop out and you're gonna find the fuel panel right behind it uh, now for the convertible, uh, I believe so. You gotta look at the chart. I, if I remember, it was the fuse number 12 that was blown. And then after that, all the light uh, started to come back up. I did open the top once, but at the second time that I opened the top, this little guy was malfunctioning. So pretty much we're gonna replace this motor today. This is the bad piece. Uh, I've already got a new part from eBay. Well, it's not new, it's a used part, but you know, they said that it's tested and it's worked 100%. Uh, hopefully after that the convertible top should work properly so pretty much here is the new ports it come with the links right and also here's the motor it looks actually pretty good condition um, I'm gonna put the part number in the description uh, make sure that you check it out if you need one you know just diagnose your problem this is hopefully it's gonna be a plug-and-play process now I don't know how to open this hood because this thing won't really engage uh, I gotta figure it out now. Uh, so I figure out how to pull out this motor. Uh, there's only two 10 millimeter bolts that hold actually the motor in place. Uh, once you release that, uh, the motor should slide out. And also you have two of these little uh, gear uh, end links, right? How we call it. Uh, they just slide out, you just gotta put them back in. Uh, and then uh, I guess that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this and uh, I'm gonna try to put the new one back in. The only bad thing about taking these parts out is because it's very limited space in here and you have to be in like a very weird position, you know, to access this stuff over here. It's kind of complicated though sometimes, but 
uh, I'm pretty sure you get it done all right so long story short I just put everything back in it wasn't really that bad the only difficult part that was kind of hard it was trying to align the links so the link on the left side is kind of difficult because it's very limited of space in there uh, but the one on the right it wasn't too bad once you push the one in the on the left end you should be able to bring the one on the right end so pretty much now I'm just gonna uh, bolt this back on and then uh, hopefully it will work good so pretty much now I'm just gonna bolt this back on and hopefully it's gonna work properly all right so pretty much I put everything back so it's a two 10 millimeter bolt that's hold the motor in place uh, so here's the moment of true we're gonna try to open the convertible top now I'm gonna put this brackets down make sure that the switch is down it's good and uh, here we go ouch Okay, the motor is working. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. All right. Do we have this little thing on? Oh, we're not supposed to have this on, so. Let's see what's up with this. So, did it engage? So, let's bring this down. So pretty much the top is unlocked now. The other motor is working. You guys hear that? This is... Okay. Well, I think the fuse blowing again. I think. It's not really working anymore. <sighs> All right, so here's the fuse panel. I think the fuse is blowing again. Something is really not working properly here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the fuel now. So pretty much here's the fuse panel. If you guys ever wonder where is the fuse panel on the BMW Z4, it's right behind the glove box. All right, so pretty much here's our blown fuse. I don't know if you guys can tell from the camera, but there is like a little black dock in there. Uh, the fuse is bad. Uh, now the fuses that power the soft top are the fuse socket number 12, 31, and also 55. Uh, this is the 31. This is, like, I'm pretty sure, that's controlled the switch over there by the center console. Uh, we're gonna replace this and then uh, hopefully this time it works. Okay, so pretty much long story short, I have installed the motor into the car. This is the new part that I purchased on eBay. Uh, the motor works perfectly. It does spin, you know, when you click your switch. You know, open down, it spins nicely, they have no issue whatsoever, but, but the motor wasn't engaging with the latch. You know, I have to take it out, I open it, you know, I'm, I, so I have to take it out, I'm here in my office, I'm kind of dissecting this thing, what is going on. So pretty much ended up that the gearing, let's go inside the motor, well not the, not the motor because this is the motor so th this is the gearbox I think so ended up that the gearbox gear it was cracked and broken so I don't know why BMW made it this part with such a cheap quality of material this is like a Chinese plastic thing so oh well so um I <clears throat> so from here I just went online and purchased a upgraded gear this is for the BMW convertible top uh, motor this is gonna upgrade actually to the plastic, you know, gear that we have over here, right over here. This is gonna be a metal piece. Basically, this gonna upgrade onto this cheap plastic piece over here, you know, from the OEM gearbox. Now, um, I just gotta wait for parts to come in. Uh, once it comes in, I'm going to have to, you know, swap the parts and whatnot, and then hopefully after that, you know, the convertible top will work 100%.